Right, hello folks, welcome along to the vlog. Uh, we've been next door, we've started on the new footings for the wall or the extended pads at the very least and uh, I need to chop some of those sleepers back and I've cut two of them with a handsaw and uh, well that's all I want to do because it was a real freaking ball ache uh, so I've got my chainsaw but unfortunately this chainsaw hasn't been used in like three years, four years and it's absolutely gunked up to high heaven so we're going to have to take this blade off, take the chain off, see if we can start the motor without the chain and blade on and then uh, put it all back together and lube it up because there ain't no way I can chop these sleepers with a handsaw. I just can't get in because some of it is somewhat backfilled. Uh, so while we're waiting for the pads to go off, I will take you next door and show you them shortly. But while we're just waiting for those pads to go off, do I have to undo that screw as well? Then uh, we can just have a play. Have a play with this. See if we can get the blade off. We've got a bit of petrol leaking already, I can see. It's making its way off. Come on. You surely don't need to be unscrewed. Surely not. Is it going to prove me wrong? Right, let's get some pry bars. Some more screwdrivers, folks. And let's get into this bastard. Because, yeah, I'm still a bit sore from yesterday in terms of uh, not happy with myself let's just take this out I don't think this has to come out but no it's just yeah. come on you son of a cigarette what's holding you on is it just all crud so it's just the crust. That's how bad it is, look. Oh God. Just look into her, folks. Oh, that's a real mess, isn't it? So, I'm gonna clean this gunk up. Might take a while. Let's see if we can't get this goddamn machine working. And if we can, We'll be very lucky people. That's the clutch mech, isn't it, there? Oh my god. This chain is seen better days. I think I'll be very lucky if I can get it to actually kick over. Oh, the bar needs cleaning. Chain definitely needs lubing. Big time. Let's look at that. It's absolutely cocked over. Um, that might pull start though. Let's see. Put some juice into the machine. If we can get this bad boy to fire, then I'll continue with the rest of the uh, restoration, if you like. Even though it's quite a quite a quick fix. Uh, it doesn't look promising, does it? Does not look promising, folks. Woo! Right, we'll come back in five. 
Would you look at the mess? I've narrowed it down though, folks, to a kinked fuel line, which unfortunately meant, uh, well, no fuel getting to pretty much any part of the uh, priming button, a little priming plunger. So now what I need to try and do is push all of these fuel lines back through all the relevant bits of rubber and whatever else which is not going very easily quite frankly and then hopefully once we've got this through here we can uh, try to reassemble it along with a little bit of a clean up operation but yeah it's showing pretty. It's showing pretty. Oh. Oh, bingo. So there's that part. And that goes in to the fuel tank, which is there. But I also need to change out this little bit of hose as well. Look how solid it's gone. Rock solid, so change this piece out and then try and get it all back together right we've got it back together folks just been trying to clean the blade and the blade guard up uh, but let's see if we can get it going a little bit of fuel in there for me right obviously needs running through and heating up but we'll uh, we'll give that a blast with some WD get the blade back on get the chain back on and see if we can't get it to run proper well there it is the bastard I've had it fucking f oh god honestly I'm so pissed off with it I'm exhausted it's ten past three I'm knackered I've got it running and it runs for like 15 seconds, cuts out and then uh, it fires up, I can get it to turn over really fast, you know, going like a fucking train down an hill and then it cuts out. So I've had the carburetor off, I've cleaned everything, I've blown air through it all, I've cleaned it all out, uh, I've taken the spark plug off, I've cleaned that, I've checked the gap. Oh, I've done everything I can think to do and I've just got run, I've just, oh, yeah, exactly. I've just run out of pull in the arms. And quite frankly, it would have been cheaper for me just to get a saw and just chop the timber down that we want to cut with the hand saw. It would have been easier than doing all this. But I thought I'd get my chainsaw working again because it had obviously had two or three years just sat in the shed rotting ah 95 percent there with it but no more for today i mean it no more for today i have had sweat dripping off my brow like you would not believe and then the valve's not closing on one of the cold rooms so we're gonna to have to put that out of commission for a couple of days so that's another job they do say they come in threes, don't they? So, yeah, cold room, brick wall, chainsaw. That makes three to me, I reckon. Well, I was walking around to the beer garden to show you uh, the new pads that we put in for the footings uh, at the back of the wall on the canal side. On an our side, in the beer garden side, we've just put some extra to cement to <laughs> to start the footings so we can build up a 15 inch by 20 inch pier, four of them to replace the ones that we took down yesterday. But we had customers in the beer garden because, well, because of that. 
and uh, I thought well it's probably best not to go in there with the camera I kind of have a policy where I don't unless it's somebody that I know and they don't see it as an intrusion so because I just uh, was so frustrated with the fact that I couldn't get that chainsaw to work and I was angry still at the wall coming down I just thought sod it lovely day I'm gonna come home early I say early it's only four o'clock ish have a shower and uh, yeah just sit out in this for a little while so what we've been doing over the past few days is uh, a little bit of the old meal prep every day and uh, taking uh, our breakfast and lunch to work with us and then coming home and having a calorie controlled uh, dinner and I've laid off the beer but after today well I think I'm going to make an exception I might treat myself to a pint and then I haven't had breakfast either this morning which has probably contributed to my foul mood uh, in the past hour it's all right Dominic fear not my friend I'm all right now but yeah it probably contributed to my foul mood so uh, that means that I'm about 400 calories shy of today's intake and well I don't often do this but uh, 400 calories would work out as a litre of the neck oil clone that we made or quite conveniently um, a 25 milliliter serving of Tesco's own vodka just happens to be 52 calories so I could have a double vodka with some diet lemonade which is calorie free and some of this which is 40 calories per 200 ml serving cherry juice so if indeed it is gout that I have suffered from over the past few days then there is anecdotal evidence that this stuff is good for it so let's treat ourselves to a vodka a cherry juice and a diet lemonade and a pint of beer not having too much am I? But before we get stuck into any vodka, folks, ain't that a thing of beauty? You don't want to see the John Smith bit on the front. Oh, ain't that a thing of beauty? Let's get this down the hatch. Mm, I'm taking my time with this one. Sippy, sippy. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs> 